traditional Irish musicians, of course, it's the one and only Willie Clancy. <laughs> Today is an absolutely fantastic day. We're launching the statue. We're very proud and very happy about it. It's a great day for Milton Malbay. It's a great day for Clare. It's a great day for music lovers throughout the world. Given Willie Clancy's legacy, it's only right and proper that he be honoured in this way. And I imagine there'll be a significant economic spin-off for the town as well, because what we're hoping maybe people will be passing by, they'll see the statue, they'll stop, they'll learn more about it, and maybe they might uh, come back here for the summer school in July. Willie Clancy, he was one of the, the great inspirational figures in Irish traditional music and in Ilan Piping in particular. Um, he was one of my great musical heroes and indeed uh, personal heroes. Um, it's hard, I think it's hard to quantify and measure his legacy because, well I guess he, he left a, a, a wonderful legacy of music and happiness. He was a wonderfully, he was just a great man to be around. It's such an honour and, a, a, you know, being so proud uh, to unveil this magnificent uh, statue of his today. We had already been to every county in Ireland before we came to Clare. So we had seen the beautiful Connemara Mountains, we had been blown away in, in the Dingle, <laughs> in the O'Connor Pass. We, we'd been all through Cork, we, I'd had my moment with Yeats in Sligo. We loved Dublin and all of his cousins were on the eastern side of the island. So we had that experience, but then it happened. September the 15th, 1995, we came over the hand and I saw them all big. And the hook went in. It went in my heart and it never came out. And 10 years later, we were blessed to have an opportunity to find a place to live here. And so that started our love of the area. And then we were going to the sessions, listening to everything about Willie Clancy, and I kept hearing this name, Willie Clancy. I went down to Mr. Ward's music shop, and he was kind enough to tell me some of the first things about Willie Clancy. And eventually, I got to go to school there. We were the slackers who didn't practice our instruments, so I didn't feel qualified, neither of us felt qualified <coughs> to take the music classes, but we found the scope of Irish music being taught by Patty Glacken and Cahill Gowen. And we sat there like little sponges every day, soaking in every single thing, every day a different instrument, the cream of the crop coming in to play for us and tell us the backstories of all of the experiences they had had with each other and with Willie Clancy. We once had four chieftains at the same time <laughs> in this room, not only playing music, but then arguing about who did what first. It was brilliant to watch them. It was, and so I went home, uh, that would have been in, in the late 90s, and I went home and downloaded every single thing I could find. And pipe music, like the Queen of the Fairies and other things that were wonderful to download and see. And I saw the footage of Willie Clancy, and now, it was more than just the music, it was the man. I, after 30 years of marriage, I turned to my husband and said, I'm sorry, darling, I've fallen for another fella, <laughs> but you're in luck because he's in heaven. <laughs> so that, that was really this beginning of this love of this man and this culture and this place. And it just went on from there. Can you come down? And after we took the courses in the school, now it was being in love with the school as well. It's such a unique school in the way they teach, and it's so inclusive and so supportive. The centre here is run by an organisation, a voluntary community organisation, dealing with the heritage of Clare called Irish Clare. And the exhibition here, <coughs> it's a visitor centre designed to provide the casual tourist passing through with um, an insight into the history and traditions of Irish music, dance, uh, song, culture and general heritage of the area. But the summer school offers a huge variety of classes from song, dance, fiddle, all the instruments and in the last few years a few new instruments have come on including the harp and the harmonica. 
and uh, it's full, full on every day between the classes in the morning, break for lunch, few tunes, then go to recital, go to the set dancing, the dance in the Cayley, have your tea and then head to the afternoon recital, the evening recitals, dancing, or whatever, or go to the pubs to hear the music. And we're really here to let the folks know it's not thanking us. You citizens of Milltown and Clare and Ireland should thank each other because you've given us such a joy that this is a small pittance to repay for the wonderful joy we have living here half the year.